everybody, my name is Irina Pinkusevich. Uh, people know me as Pina, I guess. And um, today's tip is how to create a beautiful cocker spaniel head with clippers and thinning shoes. Um, so um, I need to take these off so I can see what I'm doing. And here it is. This is Morgana. She's a cute little cocker. And um, I'm going to show you how I do my ears first. There's a few ways of doing the ears on the cocker spaniel. A lot of people do it against the grain with the clippers. I prefer doing it with, with the 30 blade. Going down with my 30 blade, creating a soft V in the middle of her ear leather. I will show you in just a second. The reason I'm doing it with the grain is because it is much easier to blend short coat into the long coat. I'm going to go one shorter for the inside of the leather and create the same kind of soft V on the inside of the ear. That'll give me that um, the ear goes flat against the cheek and it gives me that soft expression. I usually don't use scissors to edge my ears when I shave them. I go on the edge of the ear with my clippers really gently into my finger on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my 10 blade and shave her cheek right against the grain, pushing, getting every little hair off to give me that nice, clean look on the cheek. Same thing right under the, her eye because a cocker spaniel needs to have chiseling. So we're going to shave it all off and right on top of the muzzle. Then I'm going to try and do her chin if she lets me. Oh, she's being a good girl. Pressing against the skin, I'm shaving it, shaving it clean. Put my finger inside her mouth gently, spread the cheek out, and clean those flues. You guys need to make sure those flues are really nice and clean, free of hair. As we all know, that flu gets really nasty if you leave the hair there for a while. And um, to give them that soft, really nice, fat lip look, as we call it. I'm just using the really uh, terms that everybody would understand. A fat lip is what we want on the Cocker Spaniel. I'm going to turn my blade the other way and drag over the lip. What that's going to give me is a little more length on the side of the, che of the lip then everywhere else on her face to create that nice, soft, velvety, fat lip. Now, I know that a lot of us like to leave big, cute eyelashes on our Cocker Spaniels. No, no eyelashes. They should not have any eyelashes. So I am going to take my scissors pull her top eyelid all the way on top of her skull without hurting her, very gently, and scissor those eyelashes off. And then I'm going to accentuate that beautiful rounded eyebrow, which we're supposed to have on the Cocker Spaniels. Your eyebrow is supposed to be in balance with your fat lip, if you can see that. That's the same feel that you get from a lip the eyebrow, the eyebrow is supposed to have. So what I'm doing is 
combing all the hair on the side of her top skull using my curved thinners, cleaning this whole line up from the corner of the eye all the way to the leather of the ear. And then right on top of that eyebrow, just cleaning everything up of free hair that is sticking out, groomer terms, sticking out. And as you can see, it's a velvety look on the eyebrow, nice, fat, and round, that matches her lip. So now, can we not shave top skulls on cocker spaniels? Please, they're not supposed to have flat heads. The standard says dome skull. So I'm only going to shave just a little tiny strip right here. Oh. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> She's like, please loosen it up. Please. Right in the back of her skull, just a little tiny strip in the back. With my tan blade. And you see how that just shaped that dome in the back, right there. I'm not going any further than that. Clean it up, and now finish up with thinning shears for the soft dome look. Another little tip, the top of the cocker spaniel head is not supposed to look like a bird that's called cockatoo. It is not supposed to be visual that there's extra hair on the head. All we're doing is shaping the head into a dome. So I'm going to comb all this hair on the side again using my curved thinners, which is going to shape your dome right away. You don't even have to move them. You just straight back and your dome shape is there. Okay. Then I'm going to take all that hair on top of her head and comb it right over her eye into the lip, right over her eye. You can actually use a little brush, which is probably better. I just don't have it with me. Sorry, but the comb will do. So I'm combing it over the eye using my curved thinners and kind of taking that hair away from the eye. One more time, and I'm only doing one side so you guys could see the difference. Then I'm gonna go and blend to the back skull, that area that I just shaved into the longer coat. One more time. And you're almost done. Done, undone. And also a couple of words, a little tip on how long these ears are supposed to be. Because that's a big question usually in the shop or in the school or, or whenever anybody is doing a cocker spaniel with full ears. You have to make sure that you hold her head up, that it's not like this that you're shaving, that you're cutting the ears, the edges of the ears. We gotta make sure she holds that head up and natural. Kinda like if she would be working in the field, looking, okay? Don't push your skin down when you're trying to set the length. Keep the ear in the natural position, just the hair. Measure it to the breastbone, and this is where they should be. These are thinning shears as well, and they're curved because I am trying to make these ears look beveled when they're done. Once I set my line with the whole amount of hair in my hand between my fingers, I'm going to spread the ear flat 
against the palm of my hand and bring in the edges into the bevel. And if you are doing your full feet on the cocker spaniel, uh, and, and then they are beveled, then the shape of the edge, the bottom edge of the ear, should match the shape of your bevel. Thank you very much. I hope it was a useful uh, tip for you guys. Again, my name is Pina, and thank you for doing this. <laughs>